Happy New Year, Earthlings! Here we are entering 2022 on planet Earth. Let's hope it's a bit better than the last couple of years. This is actually the video of a little cupboard that I painted back in the summer that I've been threatening to upload for the last couple of months, but the edit's finally done and here it is. So as you can see, it got quite a lot of water damage on it because it was outside the front of a little junk shop, I guess. I think what the shop actually was, was they reclaimed people's furniture and belongings when houses were left empty after people had passed away or something like that. A little bit morbid, but this was outside the front of the shop and every time I walked past I was like, oh, I kind of want that. And I couldn't explain to you why, but now it's mine. So I sanded it down, which kind of fixed the water damage problem mostly as it still was a little bit rough i think it would take some heavy sanding to get rid of it completely but it's as good as it was gonna get and i also exchanged the little lock on it for a nice handle that i found on ebay because it didn't actually come with a key to go with the lock that was on it i think it looks like it was like a little bathroom cabinet or something before but now i keep art supplies in there which is really handy actually but I do have a feeling that actually it should be the other way around like upside down to what it is now and mounted on a wall which means that it's incredibly unstable and when I open the door to the cupboard it does seem to become slightly unstable which means it could tip over at any time and has done quite frequently in the past but who needs stability but yes, the paint I'm using is acrylic paint, which is what I generally use for all of my furniture and wooden objects that I upcycle, renovate, refurbish. And I decided that I wanted to do a dark green because I wanted it to look a little bit foresty, like a little mystical. Ultimately, it would be nice to mount it on the wall and have it as a little magical wall portal cupboard, but... I don't know if it's heavier than what the walls in this house can withstand, so at the moment it's just an unstable table cupboard. But anyway, as you're probably noticing right now, I included black and white stripes in the design of this cupboard, which is no surprise to anybody, I can imagine, and I used the grooves and ridges of the cupboard shape to help me to decide on where I wanted to place the black and the white stripes. And my god was it hard to get the lines as perfect as I wanted them to be. In fact I think it was now while I was painting the silver spirals that I decided that enough was enough and I was going to go and buy some more thinner, more detailed paintbrushes so that I could finish the cupboard without losing my mind. So it was much better once I had better paintbrushes. Surprisingly enough, a workman is only as good as his tools or something like that isn't it is that the same <laughs> is that the same or is that what people say when they're bad at their job and they just need an excuse but to be fair let's blame it on the tools because it makes me feel better about myself so here we are but anyway this next part this part with the vine leaves and flowers was the um, inspiration behind what I want, the, the vision that I could see before I started because I didn't start with much other than I wanted to make mystical cupboard portal but these vines sort of spreading from the front onto the top and then the black and white squares coming onto the door as well from the top were both the visions that I kind of had to make it a bit more multi-dimensional don't really feel like that's the word because it makes it sound like we should be traveling through time and space via cupboard portal but i guess that's what we're going to go with because i can't oh 3d three-dimensional i prefer multi-dimensional so we're going to go with that we're, we're running with multi-dimensional welcome to the space travel program if you look to your left you will see time flying past the window at a rapid pace but don't expect anything here to make any sense because it simply will not. However, in a slightly different timeline, here is me painting a few little details onto the cupboard at the bottom just to give it a little bit of good old fashioned pizzazz. And here is the final finished 
cupboard of dreams time travel portal cupboard here it is so here we have it the multi-dimensions of the multi-dimensional mystical portal cupboard of time and space travel right before your very eyes you're welcome if you'd like to see more supernatural furniture like this then please hit the subscribe button because there will be more i've got more furniture just waiting to be savaged in a similar kind of way if you'd like to leave a comment and let me know what you think it's always welcome let me know you're not a robot i'm still convinced that 99 percent of you are in fact artificial intelligence and for those of you that aren't hopefully i will see you in the next video although robots are also welcome here i guess be kind to robots mm -hmm.